Hey guys, it's Brandon, AKA Be Rich Beauty, AKA your beauty best friend, honey. And today the tea is steeping. R. Kelly is attacked in jail. Federal student loan payments might be suspended until 2021. Britney Spears has a whole new trustee. Is Lord and Taylor going out of business? And we got some new music, honey. So you know what to do. Grab that beverage, but most importantly, grab that tea and let's get started. Let go. Uh, let's just talk. Let's have a whole real, real moment, honey. We know our Kelly has been in jail for charges for uh, child pornography and a lot of other sex offensive charges, right? So his lawyers are calling for him to be released from jail because apparently and me Ish had done hit the fan in jail and our Kelly has been attacked. Now, if I recall, and don't get me wrong, I don't have a lot of expertise on jail knowledge and how jail works, but I've seen a few episodes, one, two, or 80 of Oz, and I don't think jail works that way. Just because you get attacked, I don't think they just automatically release you because you were attacked in jail. But R. Kelly lawyers are doing what they're being paid to do, honey, and they are calling for him to be released, saying that it's unfair for a man to just be sitting in jail without due process. And because he was attacked, they're fearing that the jail is not able to keep R. Kelly safe. Now, if that's the case, just throw him in solitary confinement. But the get you gotcha is, you know why R. Kelly got attacked? Let me tell you why R. Kelly got attacked. Because the dog on prison people and the inmates got upset because the jail has been on lockdown a couple of times now because the kids are out there in the streets in Chicago protesting for R. Kelly to be freed. How ironic, right? His his lawyer's asking for him to be freed because he doesn't feel like he's safe. And the people in jail is like, we're gonna shake you, mofo, because we're tired of being on lockdown because they want you to be free. So honey, listen, in the words of Nigel from Devil Wears Prada, Guard your loins. Guard your loins, R. Kelly. So, y'all know because of the CARES Act that was passed back in March, all student lo federal student loan payments have been suspended and until September. Well, because it's about to expire, y'all president, 45, has extended the benefits of not having to... Ooh, ooh y'all know this is expensive, honey. You can't... Good catch, Brandon. Y'all know you can't be just dropping this because this costs too much. Um, has suspended the payment for your student loans. So all my student loans, I'm really fortunate. I have no student loans. But I know a lot of folks and I got a lot of friends that don't have student loans. So baby, y'all ain't got to worry about paying back y'all federal student loans until January 2021. So my question is, what y'all doing with y'all extra student loan money? Y'all saving it to pay for it when it comes roll around again in January for repayment? Or y'all going to go do something else with it and, you know, probably go to Lord & Taylor. Speaking of Lord & Taylor, Lord & Taylor has announced that after 194 years, uh, that's almost 200 years in the business, my Lord. After 194 years, Lord & Taylor is going out of business. They have filed for bankruptcy and have announced that they're going to be closing every one of their stores. Now, I haven't shopped at a Lord & Taylor in a very long time because to me, Lord & Taylor screens my grandmother and actually my grandmother had a credit card there and still shops at Lord & Taylor in Charleston. Now, it's, I, you know, it's just... Everything is changing. Like, you know, brick and mortars are really suffering. But, you know, we talked about, unlike Saks, where Saks is being evicted, allegedly, in Miami, and they ain't having no eviction sale, Lord & Taylor has announced that because they're going out of business, there will be a going out of business sale. Now, I'm going to warn y'all, if y'all like some middle-aged old lady fashions and or middle-aged old man fashions, run on down to um, Lord & Taylor and get you some because, catch this, they're going out of business sale is 20 to 40% off. Child, y'all ain't really going out of business if y'all only trying to get people 20 to 40% off of that, again, old people fashion. 
Now, if I see anything cute, y'all let me know. But I did a little perusal, a little peekaroo on the um, Lord and Taylor website yesterday, and I was very underwhelmed. So check it on out. Maybe you can get a, a nice little cute pair of, you know, galoshes. I don't know. But Lord and Taylor is going out of business, child. Say la vie. Farewell. So long, Lord and Taylor. Ciao. Britney Spears' prayers might have been answered. So her father is stepping down as her conservator, along with her lawyer as well. Her sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, is stepping in as trustee. Now, I don't know about y'all, but why does this sound like this is a full-time job? Where do I apply? Are there benefits? Like, at this point, I need a second stream of income. Jamie Lynn, I can take Tuesdays and Thursdays, sis, because y'all making this sound like this is a whole career. One person is stepping down, another person is stepping up, and the father says, I think she's the best person for this job to ensure that Brittany has everything she needs. First of all, you use Brittany as use the word job in the same sentence as your, as your daughter. So now I feel like this is a whole business operation. So Jamie Lynn's job, I guess, is to manage obviously her finances and everything else that relates to Britney Spears so that way she can continue to function as a somewhat human being. So if there are positions available, y'all let me know. I'll take a position as a board of director. I'll, I just need to be able to get a second stream of income. And this sounds like this might be a well-paying job. What the dividend is looking like over there and Enterprise Spears. I'm just saying. Next up, new music alert, Jasmine Sullivan. Oh my God, don't we love her voice? She's released a new song, a new single. So hopefully there's a new album that's forthcoming. I listened to it twice so far. You know, what I love about Jasmine is that her voice is classic. It's, um, she gives you good runs. She gives you a little baritone bass. She gives you all types of emotions in her song. And she gives you a little message. So I am here for it. I can't wait for a new album from Jasmine Sullivan. I hope this song is an indicator that, uh, you know, there will be a new album coming. But most importantly, that we'll get some nice range of emotions. Let me tell you something. Reality show, that album, the bomb.com. Calm. Okay. Speaking of new music, Tony Braxton, the living legend Tony Braxton, dropped a new album. Now, y'all know I love me some Tony. And I don't care that I have to listen to this album on volume 50 to hear Tony and her baritone of a voice. But the song so far are cute. She's already released two singles Do It, the one with Missy. And there's another song I can't remember right off the top of my head that she released as a single, too. And. I like that Tony is still. I like that Tony is still age appropriate. She's finding music that works for her, you know her baritone voice, and she's giving us music that still feels relatable in you know 2020. But and it doesn't feel like she's trying too hard because you know Tony is a wise woman. She's a woman of a certain age. She um, glamorously celebrated 50, so she's over 50. So I feel like she's giving like. 50 age appropriate music and I'm here for it. So y'all caught Tony's new album, The Living Legend and tell me what you think about it. All right, y'all. So before I get out of here, you know, I got to pick the teacup up because I have to have a real moment with y'all. You know, I've been talking about Jacob Blake and, you know, uh, and the progression as the story continues to unfold. And I don't know how the tomfoolery can get even worse, but it got worse. So Jacob Blake's father, Jacob Blake Sr. went to visit his son in jail and he said it broke his heart that when he got to the Sun Hotel room, Jacob Blake was handcuffed to his hospital bed. Now, I don't know about you, but the math and the logic there is this, this newly paralyzed man and who's also recovering from seven gunshot wounds in the back of his head does not seem like a flight risk. I think it's inhumane. I don't understand why he's being handcuffed to his hospital bed. This man can't walk. His life has been changed. It just, it blows my mind the, the how this story gets crazier and crazier. Um, and the only thing I could do is literally send good thoughts, good energy, and prayers to Jacob Blake, his children, who the family now says needs severe counseling, which we all knew was going to happen. I pray and continue to pray for it because I don't know about you, but every time I open social media or I open the news and I hear an additional thing about this family, it chips away at my heart and my soul. So let's continue 
to lift the family up in prayer. Most importantly, let's continue to pray for Jacob Blake. And as I transition out of here, guys, it is Friday. Seize the day. Have a great weekend. I sit with you. Have a great weekend, but you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Like this video if you like this video and leave me a comment. I will see you next week. Take care of yourself. Love you lots. Bye.